So in a previous video I showed my bottle strip cutter which had a feature which allowed you to use a chisel to remove the bottle's label as it was cut but I actually don't use that feature anymore because what I've discovered is that pulling the plastic strip into a pultruder like this one here or the other ones I've seen on YouTube if you have left the plastic strip on it actually just comes out. Hang on, sorry. Focus, focus, focus. Here we go. The plastic strip actually just, I'm um, sorry, the, the label strips just sort of eject themselves back out of the entry point to the heater block. I've tried this with about four or five different types of bottle and it works every single time so long as um, you have the the label on on the outside of the sort of the curving over or folding over um, of the of the strip as it goes through and turns into a, a more cylindrical filament. Now this isn't perfect. Um, you can see this bit here actually has a fair bit of label stuck in it. That's because my machine hit thermal runaway just before and I had to start it back up. Actually I think as the temperature gets back up that might improve. Um, yeah, it's not perfect at all. You can see over here the the part on the on the right is where it hit the label and started doing that. So a bit of label gets stuck in there on and off. So it's not perfect, but printing using bottles like this is never going to be perfect. And uh, really if you look closely, it's it's not there's not a a terrible amount of label stuck in there. And a, a huge, huge amount of it has actually been ejected out the back. I'll eventually make another video and share the design for this entire poltruder. Um, but I just thought I should share this discovery and other people might find it useful. There we can see as well. Um, the filament has cleared up a little bit after that blockage that I got because of the low temperature, I believe. Um, so tuning and playing with the temperature probably will improve or optimize the results of this as well. <laughs> 